Hey DJs, welcome back to the channel. It's VJ Hearts here. And today you are, we are diving deep into the world of Serato. And I'm gonna break down the top settings that Serato DJ Pro doesn't want you to know so that you can maximize your DJ performance. Whether you're just a beginner or a seasoned pro. So stick around because by the end of this video, I'll be giving you the settings that will ensure a smoother performance and also a bonus tip for you. Oh my god! Wow! Let's dive straight into it. First, we have the audio settings. It's very crucial to manage your latency and ensure smoother playback. The audio buffer size is what affects your latency. Head over to the audio buffer size settings, uh, USB buffer size latency, and if you have a powerful or a fast computer, you can turn this to 5 milliseconds. Uh, for me, I like turning it to 5 milliseconds because it ensures a smoother playback for me. On the next one, we have the library and display settings for a smoother workflow. Let's look at the library and display settings. This is all about making sure that you can navigate through your music quickly during live sets. Trust me, you don't want a situation whereby you are mid-hype or mid-live set and you're scrolling through your DJ set. So these settings will enable you to work on your DJ library management quickly. So on the first settings, we have the is sort the loop cues and loops chronologically. Ensure this is ticked. Also enable hot cues. Uh, personally, I don't know how you'll work with this setting turned off because you have to enable hot cues so that you can DJ. Ah! Got it! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Also, for those who use the CDJs, you can turn on the track end warning because it will show a red beeper on your screen on the CDJ. You also have to disable needle search during playback because you don't want a scenario whereby you'll make an accidental mistake and scrub through your needle such during a live performance also you will also enable the show beat jump controls this whereby when you load a track you can jump forward beats maybe 16 bits you can jump forward or 32 bits you can jump forward 32 bits forward and back in time also, for those songs that are um, not well balanced, you can, the volume levels, you can turn this auto gain feature so that it will balance all the audio levels for you. Okay, on the quantize value, I usually set mine to a quarter bit so that uh, when I'm doing tighter loops, to make sure that uh, my songs bit much or the loops doesn't get out of hand. Okay, the next setting we are going to talk about is the song on song load. So when you first load a song in the decks, you are going to play from the first cue point. So we'll Make sure this is ticked. Play from first cue point. You don't want a case scenario whereby you play from the start and uh, 
ruin your sets. Also make sure you have the instant doubles checked. And then when you are loading a song, if you have an effect turned on, you can turn off that effect when you enable this setting. Also the virtual deck speed is on the default at 33 RPM. For those that have powerful or uh, fast machines, you can enable this setting because it will bring you this analyzing stems on song load, will speed up stem playback time but increases computer load and may have a performance impact. So you don't want a situation whereby you are playing and your audio sounds like a potato crisps that is being crumbled. Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good Lord. Next one, we have the recording settings. You want to make sure when you are recording your mixes that they are of high quality because here we value quality and uh, uh, we are going to make sure that the bit depth is set on 24 bit and the file format is on WAV for high quality music. Okay, I know this is gonna br bring me or gonna land me in hot soup but about the sync button uh, is personal preference whether you want to use it or not but uh, I usually use sync in most cases uh, for most genres but for reggae music the sync may not be able to work well with you because <laughs> you don't want a scenario whereby your songs are clashing <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. On the sync preferences, I ensure that uh, uh, the the song snap to the beat grid and also maintain the sync on track load. But uh, again, I said it's personal preference whether you want to use it or not. In most cases, I use sync during hype sets and um, Sometimes I don't use sync, so it's personal preference. Next on, we have the vinyl controls. So, vinyl control, so whereby you can adjust the loops with the vinyl, ensure this setting is checked, and the anti drift, whereby you don't want your, you want to make your beat matching so. Uh, so on point, you'll have to check this, the anti drift And then the other settings, you'll leave them on default. Okay, the library settings or display. You want to make sure that uh, you have disabled the streaming services. So in most cases, I usually turn this off. The iTunes library, show iTunes library. Whereby in most cases, you'll find that... Uh, uh, for those who have the streaming services, you can turn this on. And also, protect library is whereby you don't want uh, when when you a person is using your maybe a laptop to play, you don't want them to mess with your library. So you'll turn this on. Also. Keep in mind that when you turn this on, you cannot delete or edit a track because it will be protected. So the custom create columns, I usually turn, turn this off because uh, I usually make sure that my crates are on point then you have to include the sub crates because when you are playing if you have a sub crate like let's say a sub crate like this so i want to drag this sub crate so if i turn this sub, sub crate include sub crates off it will not show the 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 crate so i have to turn 
this on so that it will show the subcrates. Okay, play track color. It's usually on default blue. And then you can choose whether to reset your play tracks or uh, whether you want to when you reset the play tracks it will reset when you exit so you can also enable play count this is personal preference i usually keep mine on and then the library text size when you increase the library text size you have bigger display or larger text display but i usually keep it around four when i'm for quicker visibility and also when i'm doing my library management i usually keep it at around two or the value here so on the display settings you have the short tempo matching displays i usually leave this and then when you are djing if you want a person not to know the song that you are playing you can choose to hide the am uh, the track or artist name or the am mod i usually leave this because i, I want to know which kind of song i'm playing also you have to turn this on the eq colored waveforms this is whereby when you are playing a song you have when you take out the eqs the color changes the waveform color changes if you take this out you see that the color changes the highs the color changes in the filters the eqs yeah so the color key display this is whereby you will have your keys have colors yeah and then and then the performance pad you have to check this performance pad q layout because how will you dj without the performance pad you'll have to check so that you can have multiple pads where you can set your cue points here and there okay on the camelot you'll choose the key type as the camelot i usually keep mine as, as the camelot and the bpm display i usually keep it at one decimal place because uh, I want in such cases that uh, I keep this at around this one decimal place. Yeah. And then you'll have to turn on the maximum screen updates per second to 60 because you don't want a scenario whereby your screen looks like a, a CCTV camera recording or footage. Shut the fuck up, bitch. So you'll have to turn on the high resolution display so that you can have a higher resolution. Make sure, keep in mind that you'll have to restart your Serato so that uh, the settings can, can take effect. Also, I have the usage data turned off because I don't want to share my data with the serato media or serato dj also music streaming i have the streaming services checked off uh, it's make sure that i have a smoother performance and also avoid issues on the mixer section the eq boost is usually on default the afeda curve i usually set it on fast because i want to when i'm transitioning when i'm raising my up fader it transitions fast also the cross fader is set on linear 
the default and also the cross fader curve is set on first now next we jump on the fx so you can customize your fx let's say you want to use the echo effect the reverb effect and then let's say the flanger so when you take this this favorite effects list it gives you the effects that you have selected you can turn you can select more it's again it's personal preference so in this update of serato 3.2.1 you have the effects lists whereby you can customize your effects we have the customization the channel effects the four effects you also have you can enable multiple effects so that you can just not dj uh, ordinarily but be unique in your sets so jumping on to the expansion packs you have to make sure the serato video is enabled uh, especially for those who are using the windows version for the serato but if you are using a mac book pro uh, you have mix emergency as a third party application for that so for the windows users the when you enable the start of video you have to enable the aspect ratio is usually on 16 to 9 if you have a powerful computer you can set this to best the recording quality on 1080p arrangement the normal output media treatment you have to set on on preserve you'll have to check the v-sync and the frame blending on the buffer size if you have a stronger or a fast or a powerful machine you can set this on 2gb but i usually keep it at around there and the delay compensation is on default and then check on apply sampler settings you have to enable the sampler enable serato playlist and also the live playlist external control such serato remotes the vinyl control pitch and time will enable the pitch and time and the flip and then the serato play thank you so much guys for watching i've been your host vj hearts and i hope you enjoyed this video uh, smash that like like button and the subscribe to the channel for more tips tricks and bits and drop a comment with your favorite serato dj tip or any other setting that i might have missed and then stay tuned for more dj tutorials and also my you can check out my mixes on hear this audio mark mix cloud or soundcloud until next time keep mixing like like a pro and remember always cue before you drop and by the way before i leave i have a bonus tip if you are planning to make your sets more engaging and uh, creative you should enable the smart create feature whereby you can customize the rules that maybe genre let's say you want genre is you want reggae music so this will be a reggae smart crate you can rename the crate say reggae the genre is reggae so thanks guys for watching until next time peace